aboard of Bering 92, first official detail tour ever. We're back with Alexei. You guys said we cannot do this without him, so we coerce him, twist his arm to be in this beautiful location. And really important, as promised, we will have a live update in this video of what our boat looks like today. Well, technically yesterday. yesterday. But yes, you guys get to see what it looks like. Just stay tuned. It's going to be somewhere in this video. All right, let's do it. So you're saying we have an Easter egg in our video? We have an Easter egg in a non-Easter video. Pop-up cleats. Folding cleats, it's better than pop-up, less problems. We have three points to attach the swim ladder on the... Wow, these are all swim ladder attachment so, possibilities? Yes. So you can. still have a conventional swim ladder, you don't have to use the, uh, the transformer. We don't have to use transformer. Got yes. it. And BBL as well, right, Rico? Yes. You don't go like, we have this beautiful thing here and it's just so gorgeous. You just go like, nope, there's less problems and this is why we use it. And that's how we look at yachts, right? We're yeah. like, give me the manual because it's less problems. Give me this because it's more sturdy. I just think if you're a real boater, that's how you look at it. You're going to be the one dealing with it. All right, should we go up? A couple other things here. Oh. It's a shower. Oh, that's right. And we learned today it's very long. It's like 15 <laughs> feet or something. It's like this long, you guys. It's crazy. I mean, look. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty weird. It's a little crazy. And it's very nice, you know, you, you, no, 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 no. <laughs> you press the button. And it stays on. Yes. Oh, oh, I like it. Like this. It's great for wasting and water. And of course, it's hot and cold. Yeah. I don't have to mention that. The wash downs, they're, they're spread throughout the boat, so you don't need to have a super long hoses, which mm -hmm. are twisted. It's right here. And it's also the water hose as well. Speaking of awesome. water, you guys, it's been raining on and off yes. all morning. Right now, it's not raining. It literally just now rained. It's blue skies. For now some it's reason. gorgeous. So yeah. let's just cross our fingers well, that it stays this way. 15 but it's, minutes ago. Yeah. yeah. But it it's supposed raining. to be like on and off rain. We'll do this quickly before it rains on us again. Shore power? So shore power is here. And we are in our cockpit. Huge safety gate. Yeah, yeah. great. So this is always just so impressive. It's easy to operate and it's massive winch for Mediterranean type of docking. This boat is 200 tons, nearly 200 tons. You have to have massive force to secure it. So on our port side, we have our sidewalk and it takes us directly into the galley. There's no access forward this way. We have it on our starboard. And also we have a gate on each side equipped with a side ladder. Oh yeah, so right we here. Can, yeah, you can board if you dock alongside. Mm -hmm. So we have a foldable aluminum, I believe it's Marquit ladder. Yeah, it's great. It's very convenient. Yeah. So in the cockpit we have a sink here, a large sink, and then I'm guessing just some storage underneath. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Stuff for washing. Yeah. And then we have a seating area for easily eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. Eight to Big ten table, people. high low electric table. And then this whole area, is it enclosable? Because I see a track. Yeah, it's a track here and zip up doors here in the sidewalks. Oh, so really like truly enclose the space. Yes. So you can do like air condition if you wanted to. I'm not sure if it's going to be sufficient yeah, enough. Not like we have two units in the salon. Yeah. They're not all, like a real air conditioner. Not but real, but you will have to a certain extent climate control. But for a cooler climate, this is super nice. As soon as you take the wind factor off, like it gets so much warmer in here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just like thinking of California boating, you would Especially, use it. Especially uh, the heat wise, we have a, a diesel heater which can produce abundance so amount nice of heat. So nice in here, nice and toasty. It's like yes. your second living room yes. out here. We, we do boot here. It's also optional space heater. It's radiant, mm -hmm. the heat. Mm -hmm. It works great. We put on many boats on Flybridge. Mm -hmm. So in combination with enclosure for cold climate application, it's great. Should we go forward? Sure. Wow, we'll follow I follow you. you guys. As usual. We've yeah. done this a few times before together. So yeah. I feel like we've had enough rehearsals. Alexi, if I can ask you quickly, are these the engine room ventilation grills? Yes. yes. So you put them this high instead of putting them on the outside? Yes. For what reason? <laughs> 
<laughs> Trick question. That was, Trick that question. was a setup. <laughs> yeah, so if this is the location for your air intake and outlet, I mean, actually it's a hole in your boat. Yeah. Massive hole yeah. in your boat. Imagine the angle, the boat should be inclined to get uh, some water here, mm -hmm. or the level of water. Yeah, th I mean, that has to be so pretty, it's, pretty bad. It should be pretty bad. Yes, we have the catchers. Yes, the water is not gushing into the engine room. It's evacuating through certain drains, but nevertheless, the higher it is, on some of our models, we have it on the upper deck ventilation. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as per requirements mm -hmm. of the class charter boat or better. Both I mean, here I would better. say like even the bottom level of this is probably at least 12 feet, maybe yeah. even more, 14 feet above the, the water level right now. Yeah. Water yeah. coming in at that level, at you, that, have, you have an you issue. Have yeah. a big, yeah, you have bigger problems. Sometimes when I see people say, well, this is Explorer boat and I see the ventilation two feet from the water. And yeah, it looks like Explorer. It's bubbly looking boat and space inside. It's like a house, but still the ventilation. And You're not going to be uh, exploring really far. No, it's not. Because when it's bad, you go on displacements when you go displacement it's gonna be flooded we have indirect lighting everywhere so cool wow this is so different it's so tall wow so a huge layout cushion here not really much to yeah, say and we and can have a shade right yeah here you can see four nests for the poles there's glass in here wow immediately oh that's so Calm. nice look how windy that was up there yeah, if we will sit down here, like you sit down, because now wind and level of our heads, and oh. it's totally quiet. Okay, can we stop the camera and just this uh, is chill really here? This is really nice to be here. You want here. A coffee, Alexi? Hey! <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> okay, okay, we okay, just okay. started the maybe, tour. Maybe not yet, okay. No, everybody jump up, let's do this. All right, let's do this. <laughs> what do you call this area? It's an owner's deck. Pretty sure Victoria's no! not gonna let me. We're gonna see that from the interior. We're gonna show it in the interior, but that is our owner's suite right there. Right. And they get to have this own private area here. Yeah, and see, you're not visible from the pilot house or fly bridge. Yeah, it's, it's very of, private. It's very private. You're not visible because it's really well tinted glass. So we have just a freeing port, water freeing port dictated by the glass. And this is the very dark glass, but you still see environment when you're sitting oh, here you so can nice. see the water and you feel like you're on lower level here yeah, yeah for sure you're connected level. to yeah, the water private terrace so you have yeah. a high low table here as well high low table yeah also we have inserts you can have a sun pad here as well by the way here's quick connect so for washing this deck, like I said, they spread throughout the boat strategically. So this is the anchor deck area for the crew. And so we have a two massive windlasses with, a, I believe it's 200 meters of chain on this boat. You can see this chain with the stud link, heavy anchors, and we're using always this Samson post. The pillar of comfort, as we yeah. call it in yeah. one of our yeah. Naughty Guys videos. Pillar of comfort. The pillar of comfort. <laughs> Yeah, so as always, we have a massive chain locker, which partly used as a storage for the fenders. So without deflating, you lower down the fenders there. So are we going to have a Samsung Post too? Yeah, it's a must. You guys didn't mention it, but there's storage underneath this whole compartment here. Yes. Checking out the flybridge. Hello. Yeah, it's really nice fly bridge. It's fully enclosable. Let's start off. So we have we have a jet ski here. It's kind of blocking for us. dinghy. I think we have 4.2 meter dinghy here. The uh, steelhead marine crane, 1500 pounds. Removable cradles. Same cradles goes downstairs on the transformer. We can put the same dinghy or second dinghy. And also this crane can operate in case transformer broke down or something. We can operate swim platform with the same crane. That's the versatile utility and a backup <laughs> extend the crane all the way out pick up the dinghy and put it in the water in case the yes. transformer is not oh, working oh i see what you're saying it's a gasoline storage it's outside it's also removable if you want to use this deck if you launch all your fleet you can put this box somewhere on the side and this is all your space for for guests it's a dining area um yeah, di sorry dining area for 
also easily eight. Yes. Yeah, or yes. more. And yes. there's this whole seating area on this side as well. Yeah. We have a bar area here with three bar stools. Ice maker here. It's important for charters. We have three, by the way. You have three ice makers. Three ice makers. It's my kind of boat. Refrigerator and a very nice canyon grill. Almost a full outdoor galley. You know, you can use these portable gas stoves. They're capable. Yeah. You can fry something here. You can serve something fresh here. Yeah, we have a service. sink and we have a pilot house. Yeah. It's actually connected here, which is quite yeah, nice. Yeah, because you can, um, of course, much more equipment there. As you can see here, it's only vinyl equipment. So you have your steering. Again, I say you can separately steer. Individually steer with the jogs, or now they combine, they operate simultaneously. Here is two rudder control positions for this purpose, but operate simultaneously with two. You're using this little steering wheel, and you just put like you want to rudder 10 degrees, you put 10 degrees, and you come back. So, or you steer with your autopilot. You have three <laughs> ways to steer. Of course, you can steer with your controls, you can steer with your thrusters. <laughs> thrusters. <laughs> the Mercury. Oh, that's a temporary. The we, we're waiting for the screen. The screen was malfunctioning, so it's a temporary. This screen is dedicated to the engine as ship monitoring. So oh, temporarily, it, we're using it. Mercury. For docking, although we have a remote control, but I can see the edge of Swift I don't see any any problems of docking this boat from this. But you have to rely on cameras if you are in the pilot house. But well, you said you have the ability of using a remote control. Yes. Should we check out the interior? Yeah, guys, feel free to go and explore it yourself. You don't need my explanation. I'll Let me take guess. A you're gonna have a coffee. Okay, he's yeah. gonna have a coffee. It's it's sun is shining. I don't want to go down below. I will be out here. This exclusive shipyard update is brought to you by our sponsor, Peepers. We cannot emphasize enough how important it is to have polarized sunglasses when you are on the water. If you are on the water where you have coral reefs around, the polarization is really helping you see the coral. So it's actually safety. Number two. All Peepers glasses have a UV 400 protection, meaning 99.9% .9 of harmful UV light is filtered out to protect your eyes. Because staring at the glare while wearing regular lenses can really damage your eyes. Especially if you have light eyes like Rico and I do, you actually know firsthand. I do, because I already have some slight sun damage on my eyes. So of course he stole these aviators that was wearing in this whole video of 92. I'm sure you guys were enjoying these are unisex. Check them out. Super light, super comfortable. And you know what I really like? The tint. It is a very comfortable tint. All glasses also come with seven layer anti-reflective coating and dual anti-scratch coating to prevent scratches. What I also love are the spring hinges. Makes it a very durable and comfortable fit and they're strong and durable frames. I personally love that they have a virtual try-on feature and the perfect pair finder. And they have a 90-day return policy, so there's absolutely no risk to try it. The first 100 people to visit this link will get 10% off their first order. All right, let's do this shipyard update. Welcome to our Bearing 75. What? This is what she looks like today. I mean, is it as big as you guys anticipated? Because it is definitely bigger than we anticipated. Wow. She's a big mama. We'll show alongside. you guys around. So we finally got to walk on her, finally got to walk on our main deck, we finally got to walk in the salon, all joined together. The welds are not all the welds are finished, they're still work in progress, but these are, look at these welds. These are beautiful welds. You wanna show anything? Look oh, yeah. at your nice aviator peepers. They're super comfortable. Anyway, so let's, let's look here, for example. Bow thruster tunnel is in. Follow me. Check this out. Our skags are pretty much finished. Oop. <laughs> Almost run into the sink. Stern thruster tunnel. That's where the rudder post will be com coming out. Rudder shaft will be so sitting somewhere here and the rudder behind. The prop will sit right here, same there. Look at this, look at this belly. 
Look at the skags. This is like. Oh, oh, oh. All right, I think strong. I think it's enough of a sneak peek. If you guys want to see more of the build, head over to Naughty Guys for a full detailed videos of everything that's going on. But here you go. Here's the big whale. Here's the big whale. Welcome Hello. to the salon. Well, I already see like something massive here on the port side. Is that where you want to start? Sure. You want to start on the, the big elephant here? So we have a huge wine cooler here. Commercial grade. Sub-Zero? What is it? Sub-Zero, yeah. That's serious. Is it double depth? No. I single. think so. No double. No way. Yeah, it's double. Like pull one drawer out. See, one bottle is this way. Oh, one I see this, what you're this, saying. This, 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 this. Oh, that's crazy. That's a lot. Oh, that's a lot of wine. Anyway, come on in. So on this side, we have our entrance to the crew quarters. And then we have our salon set up here, which is a side T on this side. And we have two individual comfy chairs right here. Pretty good size. And then look at these massive windows behind you. The windows are amazing. Bearing is a semi-custom shipyard. And as you guys know, this layout could be done any way you want. You can have different colors, different textures, different wood, different layout. I mean, anything you want to do is possible. So this was done to the spec of this specific owner, and that's what they have chosen. So this is neat. I like this. There's a bit of glassware storage. And it's open actually. It's mm -hmm. not. Um, yeah. It's not closed up. It's properly done for all the glasses, and yeah, it's uh, very nice. And then there's a little bit of exposed storages there and there. And then we're coming forward. As Rico said, these windows are insane. Another thing which stands out immediately: the boob walks are all the way lower down. I mean, except maybe like three inches or something to the side deck, so you have the full visibility out Is of that the what windows. We're gonna have? I think so. We have railings as well. Our boo walks are lowered, mm -hmm. I think, to the level of the windows. It's so cool. I mean, the visibility Immediately. is just gorgeous. I mean, you feel like you're outside. Can we talk about this massive TV, please? Well, I would like for you guys to tell me how big is this TV? Put it in the comments. I'm going to say overkill. Does 90 exist? Yeah, I think it's at least a 70 or something. What's the biggest TV size out there? Put it in the comments. I actually don't know. So does that mean we can have breakfast now? We stayed on board last night, as we told you guys, and we just had breakfast right as we're about to film. And it was so beautiful that I just asked the chef to leave it because we all said like, I think we just quickly ate, but we would like to eat some more. So I said, can you just leave it? We'll film the bowl quick and then go back and eat some more. So you guys get an idea for what it would feel like to stay on board or to charter on this yacht. She will be in charter, right? Yeah, she will be available in charter in the Caribbean. Ooh, very, very soon. Okay. All right, I propose we go and check out the galley since we just talked about all this. Sure, So, but you didn't say seating for eight? Yes, set up. Comfortably? On our port, we're coming into the chef's galley here. So the galley is on the compact size, but it does have everything you need for prep. So here we have a big sink. Kind of nice to have this extra drying prep area here. We got a garbage disposal right there. That's upper a garbage storage. Disposal? Is it not? I'm sorry, not oh, disposal. What's it called? Trash, Trash compactor. compactor. That's what I meant. It's a garbage disposal, no? I mean, you dispose. Theoretically, yes. Yeah. Dispose yes. your garbage. Yes. <laughs> yes. As you would say, what I meant to say. Upper storage. We have a four burner cooktop. We have a dishwasher right here, hood for our stove. Oh, interesting, it's drawers, double yep. drawers actually, right here. And then moving this way, we've got a microwave oven, coffee machine, and an actual proper oven. Then we have a freestanding big fridge here. Is it called freestanding? Side by side. Oh, side by side, because it's a double door? Mm -hmm. Still don't know my fridges. Oh, so cheese there. <laughs> and then this might be our pantry? sort of pantry. It is. Yeah, check that out. Actually, pretty decent pantry, to be honest. That's very cool. As you can see, it's raining. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's raining outside. So anyway, we have an entrance here straight into a galley, which is great for provisioning. It's a weather tied door, mm -hmm. so you can just come straight in with all the groceries. Fantastic. Right, let's go to our starboard and let's see what we can find, actually. Let's see what we find first. You're very slow today. No. Okay, hold on. So we have a big cabinet here for all sorts of cleaning supplies. Down here, we Ooh. have our dryer. A washer. Wait, what is that? It's in Turkish. It's in I Turkish. Know. I don't know either. 
It looks like a dryer. Yeah, it's a dryer. Where's the washing machine? Patience, my friend. Then on this side, we've got our washer. Ah, uh, okay. So on this side, it's almost like a little mini bar set up, which is great for service. We have an ice maker. We have another wine cooler. What? Well, I think it's meant to be the drink fridge. Right? Yeah, so you can set it up as maybe your non-alcoholic drinks and your wine and stuff stays there. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of storage here drawer here yeah and look this is all still storage still space oh, here oh got it yeah so it's almost like a little stew's pantry yeah in this area here and then if you turn this way this takes us up to our pilot house we will check that out right now ready sure okay. First of all, what's underneath oh, the stairs? Just access to machinery like air conditioning oh. and some breaker panels as well. Both staircases have some yes. kind of access. This one I checked actually earlier, also breaker panels underneath. Check wow. Out this pilot house. This is a really nice big settee. You can lay out, you can take a nap. Actually, good enough for having like three first mains laying out, <laughs> taking a nap. Yeah. It's kind of it. Okay, here we have the door which we already saw from the exterior to the flybridge and the upper helm. Then we have here, just I'm gonna open one of them, more breaker panels. This is actually the high voltage one or part of the high voltage one. Let's close this back up. We got another one right there, turning around a leaning post instead of a helm chair. Hold on, I was joking, obviously. There's more to show right here before you move on to your helmy stuff. This is an extendable table, so you can open it up, make it a lot larger. You can actually have some food underway here. You can also set up your computer work, use it as your you know, separate home office here. It's a good space. And it's a really good visibility from up here as well because the yeah. windows go all around. You could easily be up here with a few people. If this would be the only helm, I think I would not 100% like it, but having the Flybridge helm, mm -hmm. I think is really nice because you have this well, well protected pilot house here. For longer journeys. For longer journeys, night crossings, etc. Using instruments primarily. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But you do have the outside exterior mm -hmm. helm, which is incredible. I like it a lot. Well, there's a lot here, as you guys know, in typical bearing fashion. It is more like a commercial setup than recreational setup. We have the yard management system here, monitor, two very large ICOM VHF radios, another Furuno radio below. We have a switch and control panel here for the lighting. Then we have another one for the navigation lights, manual compass, four equal monitors where you can pick and choose whatever you want to have on the screens right now here we have the cctv the surveillance cameras there's actually a lot of cameras if you look to the bow the side decks aft deck engine room technical area a lot of cameras. A lot of cameras. A lot of cameras, yeah. We have the data helm wheel here, which is actually just a rudder degree selector. So you turn it and you can select which degrees you would like to have. We got the port and starboard rudder indicators here, autopilot right in the center, horn switch. No, not, don't not do again. It. Okay. Yeah, no, um, no. <laughs> we got the Furuno remote controls here. We have the windshield wiper controls, some more switches here. We get the engine display here for the main engines. Uh, another Furuno remote control unit. We have the side power hydraulic bow and stern thruster control here. Shift and throttle controls. I mean, so much. And now if we look up, we have more controls overhead, multifunction displays, wind indicators. This boat, which we haven't really talked about yet, is equipped with two stabilization systems. What do you mean? We have a four fin hydraulic stabilization yeah. plus a sea keeper. No way. Yeah, so the owner of this boat wanted to have two stabilization systems. The sea keeper works really great at anchor, for example, and the fins work fantastically on the way. I would think this boat would be way too big for a sea keeper. No. Unbelievable, wow. Yeah, but even without anything engaged, this boat is extremely stable. I mean, it's been really flat, but this is crazy. I mean, it doesn't move at all. All right, let's check out the cabins yeah. and the primary. Let's go down below first. So straightforward, we have our owner suite, full beam all the way forward. Some really cool stuff that you guys saw on the exterior when we were there. But first, we're gonna go and check out our guest cabins and then come back up to our owner suite. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. We have four cabins down below. What do you propose? Let's start here. Sure. Here would be our starboard. Starboard aft or starboard midship in yeah, this case. it's kind of all a bit midship. So we have our triple cabin here. This is probably one of the best bunk bed setups I've seen. 100%. Look how much space is here. Yeah, they could have done a Pullman here, right? Uh -huh. Instead, they actually set up a proper bed. 
I mean, if you have kids, right, staying in this cabin, it's fantastic. In all honesty, two adults can easily share this cabin. It would still be okay. You could have your little read a book space and your bed space. But it's definitely a great kids cabin. Yes, we have a nightstand here with a little bit of storage. Actually, a huge drawer, not a little bit. Nothing here, and then right here is our hanging locker. It's huge. With a safe. Right. No, these are drawers. These are drawers? Oh yeah, three drawers. Yep. Fabulous. We got a TV mounted forward. And of course we have an ensuite. All the cabins do have an ensuite. These doors are so <laughs> yeah. serious. I'm excited about our doors being Me this too. way. Okay, come on in into our oh, ensuite. I really like the floors. Yeah, it's really nice. It's all kind of follows the same scheme decked on that one that we know that we're shopping for our own boat. It's a great product, super durable. So they used it all the way up. They used the gloss and they kept it matte, like anti-slip down there, which looks really nice. So here we have a little bit of medicine cabinet. Then we also have some storage wow, huge, down here. Huge storage, actually. We do have a towel warmer right here, toilet. And of course we have our shower. I'm gonna volunteer myself. And what do we think? I think it's a really good two-person shower. So we got a rain shower head, we have a handheld, really cool built-in storage. Lots. A lot, actually, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and you still have a window, so a great amount of light. I really like the drain system, actually, the way they incorporated it. Shall we keep going? Yep. Okay, so welcome to our port VIP cabin. Technically, we have three VIP cabins. Next to you, is that the hanging locker? Yes. Okay. Can I have the honor? Ah, so we have a shallow locker actually, but full length. Thanks. Pretty cool. I have a drawer here. Do you have a I drawer? I have two drawers here underneath the bed and one underneath the nightstand. No way. Pop it open. How deep is it? The big drawer? Yeah. Oh boy. Huge. Wow. Now Can you do me a favor? I yeah. want to see how big the window is there. Can you open this blind? Oh, got it. Okay, that's very nice, actually. Great size. They're not openable. And then this. Oh, do I have that too? Look at that. There's a little safe build in there. Oh, I have that too. You have a safe build? No, I have a little bit of storage. Okay, and of course we have an ensuite. Let's check that out. Is it equal to the other one? Yeah, same thing here. It's bigger because you don't have the curvature from the staircase. That's right. But it's the same size shower and about the same amount of countertop here. All right, let's keep going. Same shower? Yes. Oh, so we don't go in there. Okay. No. <laughs> if I would go in every shower, you would complain. So I'm trying to, you know, be speedy about it. Okay, now we're going on our port forward. Port forward, technically. So it's the exact same cabin like we just looked at, right? No, because no? in this cabin you have oh. this cute little sitting slash makeup desk table here. With and a you little have poof. A little poof here you can pull out, and of course you also have your hanging locker here as well. Let's uh, check out the ensuite. Yes. Is that the same? I would say so. I think it's very similar. I agree. Although, I think you have two. Oh, this is bigger. Definitely bigger than the first cabin we checked out. Mm -hmm. And all of that. That's actually a huge amount of storage in the head. And shower wise, what we say, the same? Yeah, I would say a really good two person shower as well. What Let's I didn't go. mention, which yeah. was obviously the same in the other cabin, we have a nice size TV right across from the bed. All right, our last cabin. Actually, Rico and I spend the night and it's exact same equal size cabin. The one thing I didn't point out, so the only thing here, we do have the staircase forward that you guys will see going down. So you have a little bit of that. It's not impeding on anything, but you do see it here. We also have some storage here as mm -hmm. well on both sides. And then, of course, again, same position for the TV across the bed. Double drawers here. So basically three drawers on each side, huge size. Exactly equal to the other beds. Yeah. And hanging locker, same size as that one. And of course, we have our ensuite. Very similar size. And like Rico said, that here we have a staircase. That's the only difference. OK, ready? <laughs> ready. OK, where are we going now? Can we see the owner suite? Okay, let's go into our owner suite. Full beam forward. Hang, hang on, hang on, look at this. Oh my God, this view. It is pretty amazing sitting here on an anchor, just surrounded by beautiful mountains. Check out this owner suite. This is sweet. We're gonna have a really nice one too, but 
we don't get to live in it. What do we have over here? We have a desk area, working space with a very nice and comfortable chair with an incredible view. That'd be a nice editing spot for you. We have lots of storage down below here, not impeding in the view, that's great. More storage over there, pop-up TV over there. We did go to the bow already, so you guys see it from exterior but you now get to understand what that feels like coming out of the owner suite. But then let's keep going. Let's keep going. So we have a drink fridge here. What's that? Oh. Um, that's cool. Your glassware or whatever else you want to put here. And then a little side tea area here. Actually, it's not that little. It's actually a really nice read a book kind of space or just sit there on your computer. It's a little deeper. It's really a comfy couch. But let's first show you the ensuite. Cool. Where are you going? The ensuite. Where are you going? Aha! Hello! So welcome to the Jack and Jill ensuite that we have here. Or oh, Jill and Jill or Jack and Jack? Could be just Victoria and Victoria and you go find some other head. So equal layout? Yeah. Pretty much, except the door, obviously. Exposed storage here. We have the head right here. Nice sink with a countertop, with the same countertop we saw actually. Oh, wow, the floor is heated. It is, right? The floor is heated. The oh. floor is heated in every ensuite. Oh, that's really nice. It's not on our list, but I'm kind of reconsidering it right now. We gotta talk about this. Yeah. To decide what we wanna do. Love the shower. Three person, four, four person. It has to be a four. That's a four person shower right here. Yeah. So I would like to have this one. I know you think it's equal, but I would prefer this one. Why is that? Because you have a window? Because this is a beautiful, giant, incredible window. Sadly, it was raining. Oh, the sun just came out. Oh, of course, now it comes out. How gorgeous is this window? So you're saying when you're brainstorming and sitting at your thinking spot, you want to have a view? I think it's very nice. <laughs> you would like this. I would like it, yes. Yeah, I would actually. I love it. The one thing that I feel would be kind of cool if you can make this tinted, you know, and you can just go close to so it's like kind of private. Privacy, yeah. yeah. But you could easily have that if you wish to have it. Yeah, I like it because it goes all the way up. So yeah. You can definitely create privacy that way. For sure. All right, uh, where are we going next? Walk in Where's... closet. Oh my God, I almost forgot about the whole. Yeah, where is our closet? Okay, let's go. Are you coming with me? No. No? Okay, fine. Cool. I go this way. Okay. I can't believe I almost jipped you guys out of something so spectacular. Should we do this quick? How cool is this? To your own private balcony. It's so private and you actually don't really even see it from the flybridge area. I mean, it's just so cool. I mean, we mentioned it already, but you know, having the glass in there, you're out of the wind and you still have the view. It's just incredible. Let's show you something that I don't think any of you expect. Follow me. Wow. Welcome to this awesome forward multi-purpose area. That is crazy. It's got a few different purposes. First of all, it's got a really generous amount of closet space. And I like how they left all the closet areas exposed. You've got no mildew issues, nothing. It's just constant airflow. So that's very nice. And the areas that you see that are not exposed right here are extra refrigeration. No way. Yeah, so they wanted to have that extra space. They build it in. Obviously, it's not something you're going to use every day, but for long-term storage, I mean, how fantastic to be able to have this. Awesome. Yeah, this is still like a bunch of shelves in here. And that's not all. We also have basically like a home office. You can set this up. It's really private. You can even take a phone call in here. Like, it's just nice to have that. And of course, you can also have a really beautiful, I think this is a great jewelry space. Mm -hmm. And I know one of our patrons, Steven, I always think of you, and I told you next time I see it, I'll point it out, wants to have a jewelry making studio on board because he's a jewelry designer. I mean, this, this is your cool. jewelry studio. Yeah. I always think of you. All right, it's not all. It's not all. Nope, let's oh, do it. I need to work again. Let's do it. So you want me to go in there? Sending you in. We it is a bearing. It is a steel hole, full displacement. There's gonna be something down there that's interesting. And this is not all the way down, guys. So they took advantage of the extra bilge area here. So of course, there's some machinery here. We have the hydraulic bow thruster right here, the bow thruster tunnel, which is nicely exposed. You can actually see it. Then we have water heaters here and the fresh water pump here. And look at this. We have two additional freezers. There's so much refrigeration and freezer. 
capacity on this boat here, it is incredible. Definitely fantastic for charters and long range cruising. Look at this, cannot lie about it, it's a steel hull. Does it look amazing? Everything is of course painted, no rust, no anything. Ta -da! Ta -da! Okay, next we're gonna go to our crew quarters and the engine room, lazarette, all that. We gotta find Alexi. Check the engine room. Perfect. Ah. Hi. We're ready yeah. for crew quarters and engine room tour. All right. All right, we'll follow you. Let's do it. Okay, oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is bigger than I thought it would be, actually. No, it's spacious, and one of the owner's idea was to have a full kitchen here. Mm -hmm. So that kitchen up uh, used like a service room, maybe dessert and heavy cooking or something you need to prepare. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you can do here. So it's a huge refrigerator here. It's a microwave convection, dishwasher, cooktop, hood. Oh, you so, even have a dishwasher here? Yeah. I got, I got to show this. How does Alexi get to show all the stuff? I, I know, right? Oh, the full dishes. size dishwasher. Full wow. size dishwasher, yes. Check this out. That's yeah, that's crazy. great. So it's a proper crew mess. It's a proper galley. It's really like if you, yeah, proper galley with a yeah. crew mess. Crew members have to be able to sit down and have a meal at the same time. So we can put four people. Here. Four people, yeah. So it's set up for four. Yeah. yeah, this is great space. Okay, let's check it out. Actually, the first cabin is right here, right? Yeah. Oh, this is actually pretty wide here. We have a little bit of headroom that's taken away by steps, but it's good. It's got plenty of space here. You've got a bunk here. Behind here, I'm not going to open because we have crew on board, but we have a double size oh, cabin. wardrobe. Exactly. It's great size and there's still storage here and here. And the crew bunks are full width. I mean, they're like, I want to say at least, are they a meter? I think they're standard 900. But the captain bunk here is wider. I think it's oh, one wow. wider. Planning for a bigger captain or what? It's, yeah, <laughs> just just a I mean, sign of appreciation. Yeah. Technically, if you have a couple that's working together and they have this cabin, they could sleep in one. Yeah. Bed. Here you even have, look, a desk. So you could put a little chair or poof and actually put your computer and work here. And right here, you also have a big hanging locker as well. And in case you guys are wondering what this box is on the ceiling, I my assumption is it's a passerelle. Oh, uh, this right here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. You see this all real wood, it's maple. Mm -hmm. There is no plastic in, mm -hmm. in crew quarters. They share that head, right? Yeah, so they share that out. head. So it's a walk-in shower. It's a good one-person shower. Got plenty of space there for toiletries. And there's a small sink and we have a toilet here. You even have a window. I mean, it's a compact space, but for four people, I think for crew, they can make it work. And it's not a wet hat. No, it's a proper shower, but the trade-off, they get really good sized cabins. And a nice crew mess. Yeah. yeah, I think, you know, like if it wouldn't be for such a massive galley here, we could accommodate, you know, like, like it's supposed to be on the charter vessels, one head per two yeah. crew members. You, yeah, you can actually have two heads here mm -hmm. if you wanted to. Yeah. Set it up a little different. Yeah, there's tons of space here for sure. Yeah. Just that fridge is it's huge. Did you mention this boat have uh, 10 fridges? And uh, refrigerators and freezers, all total combined it's 10. It's crazy. We haven't counted them, but we encountered all of them. Yeah. There's so many. Yeah, some of them was massive. And we found those all the way forward there as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, this is a true explorer. This boat has a range of vicinity of 5,000 miles. It's appeared to be a yacht. Yeah. But it's true explorer. It's no corners cut. And you can see it in the engine room. Let's go look. Okay. This okay. access is actually going to take us straight into the salon area. Oh, yeah. oh thanks for the lights. That's oh, nice. yeah. That's um, that's actually a lot Very better. Very nice. Yeah. So that goes all the way up into the salon. So that's your interior access when you're underway. And it's uh, for safety because underway you better not use this transom door. It's a watertight pantograph door with a sensor. If you will open it underway, it's going to be alarm. Mm -hmm. So underway, the crew using inner yeah. passage. Makes sense. And of course, access to the engine room and to their quarters. Perfect. All right, let's go check it out.
So we entering the engine room through the electrical room. Here's all the AGM batteries. This is a classic boat. It's got two generators and a pretty big battery bank which we can stay overnight on. They're outside of the engine room. It's a cooler room. I think it's have an air conditioning here. I mm -hmm. can see where the outlet. So this is the old breaker panel. Oh, wow. That's I a huge breaker panel, it's, actually. It's 220, 50 hertz. So this is the 24 volts. So we are on the batteries right now. Our battery level is 25.4. I think we shut down generator this morning. And this is the entrance to the engine. Plenty of room. Yep. Oh yeah, actually. Probably like a good five nine, five ten in this hat. Look, like at, a, look at this manifold. This is a ship by any means. It's a ship. Our fuel uh, system is a stainless steel. So you can see the fuel manifold. We got eight tanks plus a day tank, which is a 3,000 liters. On this wall, everything dedicated to the fuel. So we can see the visual gauge of the day tank. It's very well positioned. So the first glimpse, and you can see exactly what you have in your day tank. This is the fuel polishing system. We also have a transfer pump, and we have an alpha level. It's on the lower level. Yeah, where are all the engines? Ah, it's not important. No engines. The engines is not important. No, no engines. <laughs> Let's go like, like this. Okay, uh, go. Okay. Right, go, go. So it looks like we have two helm wheels here. Yeah. Uh, actually, we using now on all boats. It's a data system. It's a commercial steering system. We use it on all our boats right now. They have a vast variety from small boats up to icebreakers mm -hmm. and tankers. It's a very much commercial product. These two wheels, they manually drive each rudder individually. Mm -hmm. So if we have one rudder stuck or something, so we're still able to steer to some extent with this manual steering. Also, we can separate them in a pilot house so we can steer independently. So what's all this there? <laughs> <laughs> What's all that? What's Valves. All that? It's a lot of copper nickel ferrum. Two system in one. It's a emergency bilge pump system. Besides mm -hmm. the bilge pumps, local bilge pumps, we have a plumbed bilge pump system to each compartment. Of course, capacity, it's like four or five kW motors. The productivity of this system is far greater. This is for emergencies. If you really have a outside water flooding in. So. And at the same time, it's a firefighting system. You can pump water from the sea chest and have a pressurized water throughout the boat. I think we have two fire stations on this boat, so you can help yourself, you can help Somebody others. Else. Your <laughs> yeah, little actually, fire yes. boat, yeah. so yeah. you can... That's amazing. So, so I should um, probably know the answer to that, but do we have that too? Yes, you do have it. We found that this is safety. Again, yeah. this is related to safety. Yes, this is travel from the charter class boats. So yes, you don't require it to have it. Yes, nobody else put it there. Yeah. Unless it's special request or I didn't see it on the list of options. It's back to the bearing standard yeah. that yeah, you have going is, on. Yeah, because this is first of of course Alexi it, standard. It's your capability to put fire out or help others. Yeah. And the second, it's emergency bills from it's as required on commercial charter class vessels. It's not just for fun. It's not just a beautiful piece of um, So under 24 work. meters, it's not required. It's not required on not the charter class boats. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even over 24. So yeah. even over 24, if it's not a charter class boat, you don't have to do it. Oh, oh that's right. That's I right. Would, oh, okay, I would say it. this for sure. Yeah. But as far as I know. This is the plumbing for the generator. You see, it's also copper nickel ferrum. It's rigid plumbing, plumbed straight into generator. It means that throughout the boat, we have no hoses. The hoses used just for the short connection. Again, as dictated by charter class, you must have rigid pipelines uh, appropriate for certain applications. You cannot just use any pipe for whatever purpose. Mm -hmm. It's all dictated. Got it. So bearing 65, bearing 72, bearing 75. Identical piping as a bearing 145. We don't use piping different suppliers. Same. It's all class approved piping on all bearing boats. We just shrunk the super <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So without any changes. So you're not on many 90 foot boats. But it also makes sense that why, uh, why it's 
cost what it costs for also small models because you are building it like a super yacht. So exactly. it's all the same materials, it all costs all same a lot materials, of money. same cabling, yeah. same class approved materials for interiors, for plywood, for veneer, for fabric leather. Yeah. Makes it's sense. all have commercial certificates. Mm -hmm, it's allowed mm -hmm. to use on passenger vessels. Yeah. That's so important. What do we have next to okay. it? Air conditioning system, climate control, I would mm -hmm. say. We have a robust diesel heater in line. So if you're in a cold, cold climate, you don't need to use a reverse cycle. You save electricity tremendously by going to a diesel, diesel. heater. Okay. And as you notice, the floors in all bathrooms are heated. Season yeah like it now it's mm -hmm. very pleasant yeah it's definitely a nice you don't feel. need to use ac you don't need to use heat no but heated floor is and you have the heated towel racks as well mm -hmm. so yeah. if you put both on you, yeah, you don't yeah, need, you don't need, need any good heat. ambience in the rooms and ventilation is true. working yeah fresh air is coming it's one of the two generators the room is very symmetrical as you can see so engines on the lower floor we have a lot of equipment still on the what lower do you floor mean on the lower floor it's a two-story engine room you guys have the same engine room on your 75. I mean, you literally can don't I see look in there or no can we open that yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Just don't show your feet ah oh here you oh. can see our famous sea torque system and cardan connection so this is our shaft assembly it's a shaft tube yeah connected to the thrust bearing and then from the thrust bearing we have a soft cardan connection to the gearbox so the engine mounted softly the pto is right on top here right the pto yeah this black unit yeah. is a pto and we supply the hydraulic power to all the fins four fin stabilization system to bone stair thruster and windlasses we have a little storage here some service stuff some oil change coming up oil change <laughs> coming up yeah it's it's a good tool chest here. oh this thing is completely movable yeah it's locked in place it, yeah yeah but it has wheels it has yeah it wheels. has wheels yeah here is side power unit it's a manifold it's a expansion the the oil tank so everything's here and it's a zero speed stabilization system built in so it's kind of like all systems in one it's a great equipment we we have a good experience so with it. the four fins you can do zero speed stabilization absolutely very effective in combination victoria is standing on uh sea -keeper. keeper how yeah. big is the sea keeper it's the largest 36. available 35 or 30, 36, 36. so it's technically over stabilized the boat uh, if you over stabilize <laughs> it it was again requirement of the customer this yeah. boat is fully custom and it's kind of borderline size uh, displacement wise for sea keeper to work properly. that's what i thought i'm like isn't it yes too however big? the boat initially so stable yeah. mm -hmm. that sea keeper is doing great we don't need an at anchor we don't deploy the fins got it and on the way fins working so good you don't need technically sea keeper but it must be running it's have to be spinning if mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. outside so we're running it as well they benefit each other it's a weird feeling of this boat when you have a, a tall beam sea like we had like nine ten footer a beam yeah you don't have a roll mm -hmm. maybe yeah. one degree roll but like somebody pushing the boat gently push the boat on the side it's a lot that's of water it. it's like this huh that's it in the bed it's also like somebody kicking the bed with it's the knee so funny yeah you're just slightly it's jolting it's like different you know. feeling you also probably notice this nice shiny looking things this is a fire suppression system you can see we have oh, there's four, another box. Yeah. four units like this spread throughout the engine room so it's a new system it's not harmful it's not harmful for the equipment huh. i mean it's harmful but to a certain extent but not how to say deadly mm -hmm. for a human mm -hmm. it's not the toxic poison mm -hmm. per se you shouldn't be here but if you happen to you be here survive. you would survive without major injuries uh, this is also new very effective costly but uh, yeah it appears like some mist like smoke mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. uh, effectively putting the fire down here on this side, side we have a water maker of course the engine room ventilation this is the exhaust this is the intake and here's the electrical three victron 5kw inverters we're in inverters right now mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. is shut down we're we're in batteries second generator super clear and then we have the escape hatch here yeah right here we 
entering to the salon. Is there stairs? How do you do yeah, it? Yeah, you're attaching the oh, stairs okay, here. It. I think it's stored somewhere. Yeah, but they're the inside here. of the engine room. But again, you see when it's no engine on the same level, it's very spacious. So mm -hmm. much space. Yeah, Easy. and the engine uh, that deep because we have a Skex and we, we keep the zero degree shaft line, mm -hmm. which is important for efficiency, for low center of gravity. So our engine seats low underwater so the so top of the engine is about a foot under the water it's so crazy. Wow. all right yeah. i hope you guys enjoyed this tour we haven't had a tour of the new model of bearing for a while so hey enjoy the 92 uh, put it down in the comments thanks as always and we'll see you in the next one ciao